Hey what's up guys, BeastHD here and I'm finally back with FIFA Monopoly. Took a little break from it for a while but it's coming back now and um, so it should be pretty good to be honest with you. It's got a few recorded now but I'm just going to start off by saying big shout out to Mr. Dan Ros 97 His link's in the description. He um, had recently got a new laptop so I was able to make all these videos for you now. And uh, he gave me a Sony Vegas code which has helped me out a lot so I can edit all these and stuff. So his link will be in the description. Please do go and check him out. <coughs> so we'll move on now to the full FIFA Monopoly as we go in. So you can see we've already picked up one player and we're just moving into the second player. We were really unfortunate through cro throughout the uh, board this game which was uh, pretty annoying because you could have got some good and decent players in there but unfortunately the board didn't throw our way so that was pretty unlucky but uh, the squad wasn't drastically bad, he wasn't too bad that right wing midfielder uh, next of all we pick up, I think it was, I'm not too sure, do we land on a orange <clears throat> yeah we do, so we get to pick up a really nice player who was the Arejo, Sergio Arejo, I'm not, yeah, bought for 1,000 coins, 4 star width from 4 star skill moves, looks like a possible hidden gem, yeah, you never know, uh, he was alright when he played for me, not gonna lie, but um, yeah, so next of all, we roll the dice, and we get another player who was, I think it was a 75-79 we land on, so I was going to pick up a left back that we go and head over to now, was from the Russian league, the Argentinian, who not sure who he plays for, Ruben Kazan. He's got a nice pace, which is what you need, 87, 77 defending as well, and 68 headering. Then, next of all, we have, we got the roll of the dice, I think it was not 100% sure, it possibly is an orange, yep it was. So, we'll go and take a look at the orange and who we could be able to get, so... I think we go for the centre back, yeah, which is 65 69 rated. This Argentinian squad was pretty hard to find all the right players in the right positions because it's pretty hard to find the Argentinians in every position in bronze, uh, silver, and well, mainly bronze and silver for what ratings and stuff you need. You're very limited in what you could get, which is why I was forced to make one different move. I think it's on this roll. <coughs> so, either on this roll or the next roll where I'm forced to get a bronze centre mid who was 62 rated overall yeah it is this role um, <clears throat> he was meant to be a 55 to 59 rated player and I apologise but the only player left after I'd made this squad that I could actually get was this player I've tried the squad a couple of different times with different players but something always seems to go wrong along the line but um, that's the only mig mistake for this FIFA Monopoly that I've made so far in order of being able to do it but it's not too drastically bad um, I'm just going to say now if you've enjoyed so far and you're enjoying it please do remember to click the like button we're going to try and go for 75 likes guys that would be bloody amazing on this video and also subscribe if you've not already that would be uh, really good and really really helpful and I hope you enjoyed that pack openings reactions video from the other day that got amazing support but uh, we just seen there that we picked up a Zabaleta which was um, not too bad to be honest with you, nice solid defensive player then we go and land on the purple which is a 60 to 64 rated player so we go and get Duda I think it is, about 350 coins so um, that was quite nice as well, he's got pretty poor pace to be honest with you, 64 defending, 64 heading which isn't good to be honest with you but for a defender but um, yeah so Next of all we go a double one, which is orange again, so we're able to go and get a, not orange again, yeah, orange again, yeah, but 65 to 69 rated player, so we go and pick up the goalkeeper, he was uh, absolutely terrible, probably one of the worst keepers I've used on this FIFA, His, uh, how bad he was was undescribable, not going to lie, he was, um, definitely don't go and pick him up, that's what I'm going to say. <coughs> So we've all, I think this is the final roll now, we land on the 70 to 74 rated player. So I was going to pick up the QPR centre midfielder, but for 3.4k, and yes I know he's not worth that anymore. But this is from a while back, well it's not from a while back, but I've had the players in the club for a while. So that was the final player from the Monopoly board, and finally I got to pick the last player, uh, like we always do. So I picked Zarate to add some extra pace, some nice 4 star skills. 
nice pace, not too bad, but it's not brilliant shooting, 72, he's got nice dribbling as well, and uh, that completed the full squad. So we'll move on in a second to how this squad played overall, the key players and things like that. But um, do make sure to check out your sub boxes tomorrow at about 6pm as it will, is my birthday tomorrow and I've decided to make a special um, FIFA squad builder uh, for my birthday and it's quite smartly done so do remember to keep an eye out for that. It'd be great if you could. So um, this squad on the whole now, it was not recommendable. Um, the only good player was the centre forward and striker really, Palacio and <coughs> the Barcelona striker. So I scored not really many goals with this team because it was just not really... It was, oh, it's hard to put into words how this squad was so bad. Um, we only won one game out of the games I played with it. I must have played five or six and I must have lost scored like four or five goals with this squad in those five or six games it was just horrendous to use to be honest with you it was no real pace up front the defence was a bit shocking the keeper let me down loads for long shots and things like that so that's the reason I apologise for not many goals in the clips this is more possession football and well played attacks and things like that that you'll be seeing now <coughs> but um there are some nice goals and things along in there for what I do actually score but um, apologies for that the main standout player was probably uh, Palacio with his pace I think that's the right name yeah and uh, also the striker for Barcelona I kind of forgot his name so he was pretty recommendable I've had him in a pack before with my opening week of FIFA uh, he was pretty nice to use and um, it was good nice to use him again so definitely go and get those two. Ansaldi is definitely recommendable as well for his obvious amount of pace and things like that, which is really useful to have. So um, that w those are the three main standouts. Never ever consider getting that goalkeeper I've got. Absolutely horrendous the amount of uh, goals he lets in and long shots. He he's a disaster for long shots and things like that. Once the other team knew what they were doing, he just completely cut me out of the game by doing that. So we're on to the last little gameplay now, so um, a big thanks now for uh, sticking around and watching the rest of this video. We do have another one next that I've uh, already made which is the Russian League one and tomorrow there is possibly a Inform Rebury review lent to me by uh, Jamie's Gaming and there's also the day after probably going to be a Road to Cas in Team of the Year Casillas. So I hope you all managed to stick around for that. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll probably see all you guys later.